everybody, Sound Gadget Guy here with another FFC vlog. This is the vlog where we test the front-facing cameras on the different phones and tablets and laptops that we get to play with here, SoundGadgetGuy.com. And this vlog is being shot on the front-facing camera found on the LG G3. But if you've read the title of this video, we are of course talking about the iPhone 6 Plus. Now, this is a question I've gotten a couple times in comments and in direct messages, and the general reasoning behind the question goes something like this. If UHD video is roughly an 8 megapixel frame, and the iPhone has an 8 megapixel camera, then shouldn't a future software update enable UHD video recording? Well, the short answer is no. And the much longer answer is no. Alright, sorry iPhone fans, I'm really not trying to pick on you that much, but we are running into the limitations of what Apple can do with this image sensor. While it's true that each frame of a UHD video is around 8 megapixels, it's actually a little bit more. Now, what is UHD video? UHD video is four times the resolution of 1080p. It's a really easy way to get a higher resolution without changing the aspect ratio or form factor. Just for every one pixel we used to have with 1920 by 1080, we turn that into four new pixels. So it's 1920 times two and 1080 times two for 3840 by 2160. Not really scientifically quite 4K, but we're kind of rounding up from 3840 to 4000 pixels across. Though that is a pet peeve of mine, I, I would prefer we just call it UHD video and leave 4K for the video professionals who are actually shooting 4000 pixels across, but I digress. So for those of you doing the math at home, 3840 by 2160, if we multiply those two numbers together, we get slightly more than 8 million pixels 30 times a second. It's around 8.29 megapixels. So where does that leave us with the iPhone? Well, the iPhone has a slightly more square squarish image sensor. In fact, most cameras do. When you turn on video recording or if you're shooting wide angle photos, they're actually just cropping the top and bottom off of your photos and videos from that square-ish image sensor. And honestly, we'd be fine with a crop. The iPhone already crops in pretty substantially just to do HD video recording, for example. Problem is, we don't really have the room. You see, the image sensor on the iPhone is 3264 by 2448. And if we do the math on those two numbers, we arrive at 7.9 million pixels, not quite 8 megapixels. So while we have plenty of room on the vertical with 2,448 lines of pixels, we don't quite have enough room on the horizontal with only 3,264 lines of pixels. We couldn't even really crop in if we wanted to because horizontally we're around 500 lines of pixels short. But that does bring up an interesting point because having used the iPhone 6 Plus for a little while, I really do feel that the processor and GPU are probably powerful enough to shoot HD plus video. And there's absolutely no reason why we couldn't go 2K HD plus with 2560 by 1440, which would be really funny if you could shoot video off of the iPhone, which would show up as the native resolution on the screens like the G3 and the Galaxy Note 4. Personally, I think it's doubtful that Apple will change the resolution on its video recording. It really seems that Apple as a company values simplicity above all else in terms of its user experience and UI design. So making users dig through multiple menus to control the various resolutions on their phones just doesn't seem like it'll be an Apple thing to do. So for those of you who have been asking, I hate to be the bearer of bad news, but it seems highly unlikely that we'll get proper UHD video recording or even HD plus recording in any future software update for the iPhone, which puts the iPhone's camera in a precarious position against phones that can already shoot 4K, like the G3 that I'm shooting this on, the LG G Flex, the Galaxy S5, the upcoming Galaxy Note 4, which will also introduce optical image stabilization for Samsung hardware, and we'll be seeing the Lumia Denim update for the 1520 and the Icon, which should also usher in 4K video recording. And I really don't like how cynical moves like this can make me, but maybe Apple's decision to stick with the older resolution on their camera sensor is an indication that they'll maybe update it for the iPhone 6S. And just a reminder, folks, this FFC vlog was shot on the front-facing camera found on the LG G3. I still find LG tends to overexpose most of their shots. As always, folks, thanks so much for watching my videos, subscribing to my channel, sharing my videos. You guys have been talking up a storm recently, and I can't thank you enough. Hit that thumbs up button, and I will catch you all on the next video.